Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Fake and Making Bacon, part one. That's right, we're going to start experimenting making our own bacon-like products at home. So here's what I started with, just a piece of pork belly. You got to go to a butcher, you got to ask for pork belly. All right, so what I wanted to do here is a version that required no curing, no smoking. So we're going to start with this first attempt with no special procedures, no brining, no nitrates, no smokehouse, no nothing. What I did here is I simply seasoned it with smoked paprika, lots of cracked black pepper, and what turned out to be not enough salt. Okay, so smoked paprika for a little smokiness, because bacon is smoked, salt and pepper. So I coated both sides very well. By the way, I did not remove the rind, the skin there, I left that on. I wrapped it in heavy duty foil, wrapped it again in heavy duty foil, put it in a baking dish, and put it in a very low oven, 200 degrees for three and a half hours. Then I turned the oven off. I left it right in there. Just leave it in there. Left it in there for about another hour and a half. Put it in the refrigerator overnight. And this is what I got. Which looked exactly like a piece of black pepper crusted bacon covered in bacon jello. So I sliced off some big thick pieces. And I saved a little bit of the fat from the foil that I roasted it in, and I put that in a saute pan, dry saute pan, a little bit of the pork fat on medium heat, and basically I wanted to see if it would cook up like bacon, which it sort of did. And it really started to snap and crackle and pop, so I went to the screen. I didn't want to get burned. You should get one of those. They're really good. And you'll see there it kind of caramelized onto the bottom. They were really, really sticky, and I don't think I got all that jello off, because I think that's what was popping, that there was little... Uh, pockets of that liquid pork juice kind of stuck between the layers of the fat. But eventually it crisped up, cooked up nicely, and tasted pretty good. Did it taste like bacon? Not exactly. It wasn't smoky enough. It didn't have enough salt. In fact, I had to add salt here. Then I tried another batch in a non-stick pan. Worked much better. And those came out really nice. So my first attempt at bacon... I'm very happy with. Again, this was an attempt with no brining, no smoking, no nitrates, no nothing. I just wanted to see what would happen if we slowly, slowly cooked a piece of pork belly and then fried it like bacon. And what I got was some nice fried pieces of pork belly. The fat did crisp up around the edges. All right, it was very nice and meaty and chewy because I cut it so thick. Um, it was good. Oh, and by the way, I did leave the skin on as I showed you earlier. That was a little chewy when you fry it. So I actually, on the second batch, trimmed that off. Stay tuned for part two, where we'll take this to the next level. Maybe we'll do some kind of cure, a brine, something like that. We'll get some smoke in here somehow. Anyway, that was just our first attempt at fake and making bacon. So stay tuned. Go to the website if you want the ingredients for this attempt. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.